Volcanoes emit tremendous amounts of gases. What do you think is the most abundant volcanic gas? If you think it's a sulfur-based gas, you're wrong. The most abundant volcanic gas is water vapor. Apart from water vapor, volcanic gases contain variable amounts of CO2, CO, H2S, SO2, HCl, HF and others. Most of these gases are not very healthy. Therefore, when being close to a volcanic eruption, you should pay attention to the wind and be in a position where no gases are blown towards you. You should also avoid depressions as dense gases like CO2 could accumulate there and create an invisible death zone. But also fumaroles, hot gas vents at active volcanoes, can emit gases in unhealthy concentrations. Where do all the volcanic gases come from? They are originally dissolved in the magma. Magma can contain variable amounts of gases, ranging between less than 1% of its mass to up to 7%. At depth these gases are dissolved in the magma, like when you dissolve salt in water. When you put the salt in the water, you can see the salt grains in it. But after steering the water for a moment, the salt grains have disappeared they have been dissolved by the water. In the same way, gases can be dissolved in liquids. At high pressure, say at 10 or 20 km depth, a lot of gas can be dissolved in magma. But when the magma moves towards the surface, the surrounding pressure decreases and thereby also decreases the solubility of the gases in the magma. As a result, bubbles start to form, like bubbles forming in a glass of soda. In the soda, CO2 is injected into the bottle under high pressure. As soon as you open the bottle, the pressure decreases and the CO2 starts to exsolve and forms bubbles. The same happens to volcanic gases when the magma ascends towards the surface. The fog or smoke you see in this shot are volcanic gases that escape from the lava. But volcanoes not only emit gases when they erupt, but also when they are quiescent in between eruptions. The magma stored under a volcano can release its gas to the surrounding rocks from where it moves upwards via cracks to the surface. Therefore, a lot of active volcanoes emit gases also when they are not erupting, like Mount Cleveland in this shot. If the magma at a volcano is very fluid, the gases can escape quite easily during ascent and at the surface. However, if the magma is very viscous, gases cannot escape that easily during ascent and the bubbles inside the magma keep growing and building up pressure. When such a pressurized magma reaches the surface, it erupts explosively. Therefore, gas-rich, viscous magmas are generally more dangerous than gas-poor, fluid magmas. In the next video, we will look at eruptive styles and come back to gas-rich and gas-poor magmas. See you there!